ஆழ்வாரெம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஸ்ரீசைலே சுதயா பாத்திரம் தீபத்தியாதிகுணார்ணவம் யதீந்திர பிரவணம் வந்தே ரம்யஜா மாத்தரம் முனி இத்தியாதி பிரணதோஸ்மி நித்தியம் வரமுனி தயா பாத்திரம் கோமட குல உதிதம் ஸ்ரீனிவாசாரியம் வந்தே அஸ்மத் குலதேசிகம் சுபம் நமசபாயை we are continuing the celebrations of vasantha navaratri by delivering this lecture series on shri ramayanam and on this earth day we are going to rejoice shri ramayanam as a way of life more specifically how the characters particularly the rulers of raghu dynasty vamsa cared for people cared for the environment and cared for the society and cared for all the living objects around them what a perfect way to celebrate shri ramayanam and the earth day the veda emphasizes the importance of the well being of the entire world which includes sentient insentient objects with higher senses animals plants so on and so forth and this shanti mantra is recited almost on all occasions tachayo rabrini mahe ghatum yagnaya ghatum yagnya padaye daivi swastirastunah swastir manushebhya swastir jigatu beshajam sanno astu dvipade சன்சுஷ்பேஷ்வேஜிகாஷ்ட all those that have two legs like as animals and all those that have four legs so totally it has asked for the well being what a beautiful dharma what a beautiful way of living so what this vedic mantra prays people in the itchak dynasty not only the rulers but also the living beings in ayodhya and the koshala desa so rama and dasaratha ruled the dakshina bhaga of koshala desa whereas the northern part belongs to his maternal grandfather so there is a beautiful say because uh, rama's mother was kaushalai so she also hails from hails from koshala so people now try to say that that koshala is in the northern part whereas dasaratha ayodhya which is also part of koshala is the southern koshala anyway beautiful way of understanding that geographically topographically okay so as the vedic mantra asks and prays for the well being of the world we also on this earth day during the vasanta rutu pray for the well being of the earth madharthi having prayed for the well being we will continue on the series on sri ramayana lecture number 5 ramayanam is a way of life indeed today we are going to rejoice some literature from kalidasa upama kalidasasya a man a great kavi who is known for his similes and also ponder on the thoughts given by one of the greats of india great thinkers the last governor general a great statesman a politician a shrewd politician indeed 
చక్రవర్తి రాజగోపాల ఆచారి ఎ క్లోజ్ ఫాలోయర్ అండ్ ఎ క్లోజ్ అసోసియేట్ ఆఫ్ దేశపిత మహాత్మా గాంధీ బాపూచి సో చక్రవర్తి రాజగోపాల ఆచారి సో నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఈ వాస ఏబుల్ లాయర్ షూడ్ పాలిటీషియన్ స్టేట్స్ మెన్ a learned person and more importantly a great writer he wrote ramayana and mahabharata for particularly students and young youngsters and published it as a weekly in weekly as weekly columns in uh, great magazines published in tamil nadu kalki and which was also published in uh, indian express uh, indian express versions in those days if i remember correctly sunday telegraph or something of that sort so he tells some 60 years back so we are going to begin the lecture using rajaji's chakravarti rajagopal achari the last governor general of india how he thought ramayan so i was reminiscing the studies i did some some roughly some 35 years back my uh, maternal grandfather was a gandhian and a lawyer in chennai and he was also associated with raja ji during his later days so he is the one who made me get interested in reading his text particularly in english so while raja ji was publishing in tamil he was also publishing these weekly uh, columns on ramayana and mahabharata which were subsequently published as book so i got used to reading one of those books on ramayana and i memorized this which is still fresh in my memory of course i may not paraphrase exactly i might have missed some words but nevertheless the essence is same so what is ramayana ramayana is a way of life so he says ramayana is not a history or a mere biography it's a part of hindu mythology so it's not just simply a poem a poem of par eloquence and style and grandeur it's not a merely a history it's not a biography it's a part of hindu mythology and then he qualifies we cannot understand greek life and greek civilization without knowing apollo hercules venus so also one cannot understand and comprehend the hindu dharma dharma is way of life so hindu dharma unless one knows rama sita lakshmana ramana kumbhakarna and hanuman all the good and bad characters so he says mythology is needed for a society mythology is indeed very essential for society then he quotes bernard sa he says that bernard shah used to acknowledge the essentiality of mythology so ramayana is itself a way of living because of the dharma it prescribes dharma is way of living high way of living and also the actions of the characters so raja ji quotes both good and <laughs> bad characters in ramayana so it is very important so this is extremely important that one of the greatest minds in india makes it a point to relay to outreach to youngsters way back in 1950s imagine 1955 or 57 if i remember correctly roughly 60 years back that he was saying do not just simply take ramayana as an historical text do not take simply as a bhakti text alone take it as a necessity for the society we live rama rajyam because it is loke dharmena pratishtitam upanishad says so that is what it is so whether you take it and read it as an eloquent poem whether you take it and read it as a dharmic trust make sure that we understand the way of life depicted so the text itself is a way of life so why would this be possible because the characters have lived the life 95% of the characters are good here and there you get bad, uh, evil or bad characters because the shastra says lokaha bhinna ruchihi people are different that what makes this world a beautiful place to live that too we have to remember that everything has to live in harmony but good should outweigh bad right 
so lokaha bhinna ruchi hi so we have to live in this harmony as this veda already prayed which we alluded to before so why this is because the people exhibited the characters they learned from others this kalidasa begins this vagartha pratipattaye so the word and the artha should live in harmony similarly the preachings the dharma should live in harmony with action that is what characters in ramayana most of the characters in ramayana did so kwa surya prabhavo vamsha क्वच अल्प विषयामतिषु दुस्तर मोहात उड़पेनास्मी सागर वी कैंट लर्न एंड वी कैंट डू उपन्यास इन रायण विथट अफकोर्स वाल्मीकि रायण दट फॉर दोज हू हेव टैमिल एज दर् वेर्नाकुलर कंभरायण एंड फॉर वैष्णवास लाइक श्री वैष्णवास लाइक आयुवार सीरचोल and for a indian who has some interest and understanding in sanskrit you got to invoke kalidasa and so do tulsidas so the poem says who am i to talk about the great lives of surya vamsha kings as well as those people who lived in that ayodhya it's like as if i am trying to cross a big ocean with just a small boat that to the boat that doesn't have oars in it so in tamil it is called parisil it's a small boat made of some um, leaves and uh, and uh, bamboo stick so titirshu dustaram udupena asmi sagaram iva and you know kalidasa is known for his upama so he says when he is talking about how am i mantamadhi alpa vishayamati hi like me how can i even describe the deeds and the living and the acts of those who have come in surya vamsha it is as if a, a guy is trying to a guy or a girl is trying to cross a ocean pacific ocean with just a small boat is it possible no so that is what kalidasa says okay so i just wanted to infuse the style of kalidasa upama kalidasa in raghavamsha in most of the poems 80% of the poems the uttara bhaga will have some form or fashion of simile okay then if we talk about caring for the society and caring for harmony in the world one has to go and read raghuvamsa at the get go uh, kalidasa talks about king dilipa and his wife sudakshina beautiful beautiful uh, sarga to explain the care the dilipa dilipa was a forefather of uh, uh forefather of sri ramachandra so he says and then he brings a nice story so this dilipa and his uh, wife sudakshina once upon a time go to vasishta vasishta has been living forever since uh, manu began this uh, surya vamsa vivaswan manu the son of surya so the v- vasishta was living so vasishta is a great rishi so has been preaching more so many uh, raghuvamsa kings okay leave that aside so the dilipa and sudakshina this is ramayana but it's perfect fitting for um, earth day okay and that is way of living so they go to vasishta and uh, pray to him saying that we didn't have any progeny uh, we want to grow this raghuvamsa because this raghuvamsa is for all dharma then vasishta just to show the heart of these kings how they not only care for people they also care for animals and plants and everything else so he just acts again this is my uh, way of understanding although um, uh, kalidasa never brings this point to light but could be because vasishta is a triloka gnani uh, he is also the rishi in whose clan i was born said that aside anyway vasishta vasishta is one of my forefathers per se if i take that line of ancestry okay just for lighter sense i'm telling vasishta maitra varana kaundanya triyarshah that is my pravara okay in the arya paddhati then uh, then uh, vasishta 
knows that uh, this Ragukula, the Kula of Rama will prosper. But then he says, okay, look, Dilipa, I'm going to give you my beloved child. The child is Kamadhenu. So I'm going to give this, which is from the celestial world. If you take care of Kamadenu, I think it was for 21 days or something like that. I read Dragons a long time back, but there is one reference somewhere in that sloka, in this, uh, I think it is a Dvitiya Sarga, that Dilipa took care of Kamadenu for 21 days, earnestly. Okay. Then, the Kamadenu herself will bless you because of your Kainkarya, because of your activity. Okay, so goes Dilipa and Sudachina, Kamadenu goes. But you know, Kamadenu also is going to test Dilipa. Kamadenu is a great cow, right? Sarvan Kaman, it, this the cow will satisfy every, every interest. Okay, that is the reason Vasishta, Viswamitra quarreled with Vasishta. Anyway, that's a separate story. Then once, one day, this Kamadenu runs yonder to the Himalayan forest. This king Dilipa has made a vow that he, then Vasishta also advises Kamadenu is a deva, deva animal. Right, even though it is a female, it is like Rishabha, Rishabhatvam. <laughs> so you got to be careful, make a vow that you will protect this ma, Goma, Gomata. That is also important, right? Gomata is like a mother. Uh, then uh, this Kamadenu runs somewhere in Upper Himalayas. Then all of a sudden, a big lion, roaring lion runs behind this Kamadenu. Kamadenu keeps on running. Then this Dilipan tries to protect that Kamadenu and tries to hunt this, uh, hunt this lion, which is nothing but a yes, Maya Srishti of Kamadenu herself. Kamadenu wanted to test. Vasita wanted to test. Kamadenu wanted to test. So there comes a roaring lion. It's like a Rishabha. Lord Shiva's uh, ka, ka, Rishabha. It was like that. Uh, Lord Sh Sh Rudra's vehicle. So it was so powerful. And then Dilipa thought, hey, I am the Chakra Chakravarti. I am from Ragukula. I am from uh, Vivas Vivaswan Manu Vamsa. Because the Raghu comes after the Lipan. So, I, it, nothing for me. I can just toss this lion like this, but it never happens. So, it keeps on running. Kamadenu disappeared somewhere. He lost his sight on Kamadenu. Then all he was is running and running and running be, behind this uh, roaring lion. Then the lion says, look, I will let Kamadenu go. If you could satisfy my hunger. So normally when I am hungry, I used to drink the blood of a cow. <laughs> this is what uh, I think uh, Kalidasa states there. Then, then he says, okay, now that I am not able to get hold of that Kamadenu, I am hungry. But you know, I am like a bull of uh, Lord Shiva, so I will not quit. And now that you have seen that you cannot kill me, Come to a compromise and a solution. There comes Dilipa's words. Those have to be etched in a golden plate. He wants to keep the vow. So, so far we have learned, we have been learning only about Rama. Let's see how his ancestors also practiced Dharma. So, he had, he wanted to protect the vow he has given to Maharishi Vashishta. And he says that I will at any cost give you our food. Beautiful poem of Kalidasa. When you are learning Sanskrit Kavya, Raghuvamsa is what we all learn, don't we? So, and we were supposed to recite. If you are going to study Kavya, all you do first is you memorize these Anushtups. Satvam madhyena sharira vrittim dehena nivartayitum prasida dina avasana utsuka Bhalavatsa Vrsijyatam Dhenu Yam Maharshe. Beautiful. So we can't uh, memorize the 19 Sarga of Raghuvamsa, but uh, the Sanskrit preceptors normally pick some slogans and you recite. Okay. So Satvam Madhyena Madhyena Sharira Vrithim Dehena 
Nivartayutum prasida madiyena. I will give my body to satisfy your hunger. Sharira vrittim madiyena dehena nivartayutum prasida. Please take it. Because it is very important because you got to let go. So what he does? Just for a calf. He doesn't know Kamadenu is a great calf. A great cow. All he wants is to protect Dharma because he has given a vow that he will protect the cow and he cares for the animal. That is what important. On the earth day, that is very important. We say this. Satvam madiyena sharira vrittim. Dilipa says, Dehena nivartha itum prasida. Okay, so you take my body and flesh and then release Kamadenu because... You know, you cannot separate calf and a cow. If you have lived in the village, you know that. If you just separate calf from cow for a long time, the cow will start yelling, basically, ma, 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 with a boisterous voice. And if a cow, cow does that, it's not auspicious. So people won't be happy to see cow using such a boisterous voice, right? So immediately... We make sure that the cow and calf are joined. So, Dina Avasana Utsuka. At the end of the day, Diva Avasana Utsuka. Bhalavat Saha. So, the calf will be crying for the mother cow. Visrijyatam Denuhu Iyam Maharshe. Then he says, It's of no use for me to be called as a Kshatriya who is. A man with valor, to, why is this valor needed to protect the world? That's what he says, he qualifies. Shatat kilatrayata iti udagraha chatrasya shabdo bhuvaneshu rudaha. What's the purpose, rudaha? What's the general way of using the word chatriya if I'm not living up to this? Chatriya means chatram pantu. That means you have to be a protector. Chatram Pantu. Rajyenakim tad viparita vritte pranai upakrosha malina sairva pranai upakrosha malina. So what is the purpose if I am not able to protect lives? Uh, uh, he says, what is the purpose if I let uh, the uh, if I let the life wither away malina? To get, Malina means to get dirt. That means here you should say, you should understand, we should understand that what is the purpose of letting prana go, dissipate. My purpose as a raja, my purpose as a, as a person who has the valor, Kshatriya, is to protect. So if I am not protecting, that is Viparita Vritti, he, Rajya, if I am not protecting the my subjects, my beings, whether it is a plant or an animal or a fauna or flora, there is no point in me calling myself or others calling myself to be a Kshatriya, man with valor. So what is the purpose of Rajya? That is Dharma. So not only Rama preached this, ancestors were doing this. So basically Rama followed this. Munnar Morinda, Manavala Mamnikal says in Upadesa Ratramalai this what? Munnar Morinda Muraita Pamal Care to follow the acts and deeds of good people. If they are doing good, do not question. Pinnor nithamadhanai pesade. You see, right from Treta Yuga to just five, six hundred years ago, where Swami Unavada Mahamanigal, a great preceptor of Sri Vaishnava philosophy, lived. Everybody did what previous people, good people did. That's the important thing. So, now the test has been fulfilled. So, they all knew. Vasishta knew. Vasishta was sitting in the yonder. <laughs> so, so, but he has Jnana Drishti. Okay, he is one of the greatest Rishi, right? Similarly, that Kamadeni knew. And then Kamadenu comes and says, Look, this uh, Rishabha, this bull was my Srishti. Just to test you. Not only test your care for animal, your care for fauna and flora, your care for people, your care for preceptors. Bhaktya gurau mai anukampaya cha prita smite putra varam vrinishva. Okay, now you ask me putra varam vrinishva. Then Kalidasa plays his own trick. 
you know, he's a great Kavi. Then he says, okay, then he puts this line. I used to ask my um, grandfather, under whom I guess I learned Raghavamsa. So why would Kalidasa infuse this uh, <laughs> kind of a sneaky line there? Na kevala nam payasam prasutim ame prasutim ave himam kama dhugam prasannam. Hey Dilipa, don't think I'm just an ordinary cow just milking. <laughs> this is Kalidasa's word. Na kevala nam payasam prasutim. Ave himam kama dugham prasannam. That's what Kavi. So if it's very dry, people won't read. You see, we, I was young, very young per se, when I learned Raghavamsa. So this line, so I would be not even listening. You know, kids at that age don't listen. But, but we just simply memorize. So if you do so, here and there, all these beauties will be inserted. Whether it's in Tamil or in Tulsidas or in... Uh, uh, or in uh, even the pro prose form of Kadambari, Gadhya structure Kadambari, certain things will be inserted to create that uh, interest. In other words, to wake you up. So Kalidasa put this, don't think. So he was talking about a great dharma. He was talking about one has to live righteously. One has to keep their words. That is very important. And one has to take care not only themselves. Not only their immediate circle and kin, they should care for the entire society. This is a heavy subject. When he is talking, he just infuses these kinds of <laughs> sneaky things. Na kevala nam payasam prasutim. Don't think kevala nam na payasam prasutim. I can only give milk. Don't think like that. Then I am a great cow. Ave himam kama dugam prasannam. So, Kalidasa begins Raghuvamsa. When he is going to talk about uh, the great people of Raghu Kula, Dilipa, he talks from all those people until Lavakusha, 19 sargas. He begins in the second sarga itself talking about the importance Dilipan gives to learning. So when he used to drive to see Vasishta, when he used to go to, from Ayodhya to go to Vasishta's hermitage, he sees a smoke coming. So people were do, doing Agni Santanam. Then he stops his chariot to pay his obeisance. From a yonder, from a distance, when he sees the smoke, Dhuma, he thinks that there are people doing their routine, daily rituals. And he used to be very... Please, that look, my, my, in my kingdom, people are doing what is required of them to do. Learning, practice, dharma. Then subsequently he goes on this uh, uh, slokas, which we have recited on the narration between Kamadhenu and uh, Dilipa comes. So, then Dilipa gets, uh, gets, its get, gets his boon and then the vamsa propagates. Okay, so... Dharma is important. So, Raghu, Raghukula people were always practitioners of Dharma, caring for the society. And let's go today, we'll take some, something very interesting today to highlight how Ramayanam is a way of living. Okay, having said that, uh, the Ikshvakukula people all care for people, immaterial whether it is a living being or non-living being. Whether it has a six sense or five sense, it doesn't matter. Okay. Then, Rama, who is an embodiment of Dharma, but at the same time, he is an Amsa of Vishnu, which he does not proclaim on his own, but we know. But he makes two incidents. Valmiki Ramayanam has this, uh, as well as Kambha Ramayanam. So, Valmiki Ramayanam, at two instances, it looks like Rama little bit slipped. Not from Dharma, but he, he played little bit games. Maybe because of his age as a young Yavana Purusha. So, first, first thing was, this is not clearly specified in Valmiki Ramayana, but Alvar in Tamil text specifies that he played games with Mantara Kuni. Perhaps that may be the reason that Mantara took a revenge. Okay, which is not specified in Valmiki Ramayana, but it is specified in Alvar's Pasaram. So it is true, eternally true. 
but uh, valmiki talks about mantra the kuni so what uh, we are going to now see is how people are important you need to respect people but people are important do not underestimate people so the first thing what we wanted to highlight was our interest in this lecture series is to bring certain pearls which uh, are in at the bagyam to learn from many preceptors mostly from my uh, family people and also my sanskrit teacher way back in home so we just wanted to share the joy what we have gained if at all what i am reciting is all because of my forefathers my mother and my father and my preceptors many many whether it is a sanskrit or tamil or hindi or telugu i had the good fortune to be at the right time at the right place that's all it is gnanam illa chiriyena i don't have any gnana it's all what they told me i was young so i was able to grasp it that's all so i want to highlight that people are important ramayana tells this and do not underestimate people which we are going to uh, elucidate and highlight and one is the mantara vrittanta another one <laughs> it this slips away this is again in ayodhya kanda itself there is another uh, dwija a learned person with whom rama just played because he was a young man how old he was how was he probably he was uh, uh, 16 plus 12 28 years old when he left for the vana roughly at that age young man so but then valmiki puts this two characters mantara and a learned person called trijata so he says perhaps some of the scholars question this perhaps it is because of certain tiny little bit of stuff that he did with these people maybe fate took a turn which lakshmana himself asks we may not have time to go in detail but i will just pass this as as we go so we'll take mantara so mantara's episode is very important to know that do not underestimate people again in management we were all told that people are important do not underestimate people there is also a saying some people have a long memory so they will just be patient and when time comes they are going to stab you so people are important so that is clearly given <laughs> in this mantara episode how was she ज्ञाति दासी यथो जाता कैकेय तु सहोषिता प्रसाद चंद्र संकाशम आरुरोहयदृश्चया द फर्स्ट लाइन इज इंपॉर्टेंट अगेन ही डिपिक्स द फर्स्ट सीन वेयर वाल्मीकि इंट्रोड्यूसेस मंतरा इज अ ब्यूटीफुल सीन ही सेज इट वाज अ फुल मून clear crystal clear moon prasadam chandra shankasham aruroha yadrichaya so she was standing on the balcony on a good full moon day crystal clear pure full moon day and he is going to introduce a paradox the moon was so good clean crystal clean whereas this lady is hard beautiful that is kavya see he wants to depict the nature of uh, mantara the kuni the wicked woman the hunchback but he says he introduces i guess this is one of the shloka in which he introduces uh, we learned ramayana these are the shlokas where elders teach you as a kavya to understand the prosodic nature the prasam so valmiki we were lucky today to handle both kalidasa where we highlighted the upana upama and the style of Ka, um, kalidasa luckily this shloka also is an epitome of kavya epitome of description in kavya right so mantara get introduced we all know that lady is a wicked lady sobhokti she goes and gossips around which anda goda pirati says ti kuralai senru odom if you have to live well in the world please learn not to gossip vayattu vaadavenum if you have to live in the world hey people if you have to live in the world that to live well in the world first and foremost do not gossip tikkoralai senri odom again a lesson whereas this mantara does that same thing nyati dasi yatho jata kaikeya 
ಸಂಸ್ತು ಸಹೋಷಿತ ಯಥಾ ಜಾತ ಸಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ವಾಟ್ ನ ಯಥೋ ಜಾತ ಸೊ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂತರ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಸೊ ಕವಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಇನ್ ರಾಮರಾಜ್ಯ ಆರ್ ದಶರಥ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಆರ್ ದಿಲೀಪ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಚೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ಸ್ which were under dasaratha had the same mindset so kaikeya rajyam is basically a part of subservient desa kingdom to this chakravarti dasaratha so obviously kaikeyi and kaike kaikeya raja and her brother all and all their subjects should be pious then how come this lady alone kaikeya alone was wicked minded <laughs> valmiki puts these two words yato jata so we don't know where she was born yataha kutaha jataha we can take it that way we don't know where he was born she was born and then she was only resident of kaikeya rajyam along with kaikeyi since kaikeyi was born so we don't know which desha she came beautiful you see the the prosody style here yatho jata kaikeya so do not underestimate the kingdom of kaikeya kaikeya rajyam or rajyam or ayodhya rajyam both are same in their mindset people are pure people practice dharma like kalidasa begins the raghuvamsa kavya as vagartha pratipattaye vag like walk like words and uh, their meaning it's inseparable like embermana and pirati inseparable similarly dharma and good actions are inseparable that's why raghuvamsa might have opened up with that sloka of course then he say of course he has to follow your kavya lakshana to say ishta deva mangala sasanam ishta deva namaskaraha prathamam kavya shailye prathama prathama uh, vaikari so it is a one um, protocol okay prathama vaikari a ishta deva namaskaraha mangala sasana itara itara tha okay so maybe perhaps but it's beautiful if you look at ramayana along with that prathama shloka it says that dharma and action should follow each other okay so only mantara did not follow because she was she might have not been born in a dharmic state yato jata kaikeya tu sahoshita okay then comes this to depict her mind so this this episode in ramayana tells whom you should not model after whom you should not emulate mantara ravana sometimes you can even take kumbhakarnan to be good because he only wants to show his loyalty he goes to fight knowing very well that rama is dharma swarupam he cannot win so ravana <laughs> and mantara are the two people whom you should never never emulate then she says she is the one gossip so she she gets this information about rama's yuvaraja carnation through somebody else because he goes and stands in the she goes stands in the balcony and sees all this jubilation sambrama okay then she says this uttishtha moodhe kim reshe bhayam tvam abivarthate e mooda e moodhe e dam kai kai get up you think then what she says this is the gossip states we should not do this so ramayana says it's a way of living each shloka is a gem so we should not follow mantara because she starts gossiping and infusing bad things you know chap 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 so dharmavadi shato bharta slakshanavadi cha dharuna shuddha bhave na janishe tenaiva mati sandhita that's what it is hey kaikeyi you say that your husband your bhartha is dharmavadi but you are mude <laughs> dharmavadi <laughs> and then he says well he says slakshanavadi uh, slakshanavadi means um, nice talker take it like that slakshanavadi vadi uh, and this you can play with uh, sanskrit right so slakshana vadi vadi vacha then it should be a nice talker you think that he is a nice talker but this is what it is but he is daruna he is an evil see she did not come simply first to say hey kaikeyi did you not know 
that uh, your son, of course, Kaikeyi considered Rama as her son, which uh, Kalyan, the in Tamil poet, Bhakti poet says, Matrutai, because he is the one who explains the nature of Kaikeyi as Matrutai, as Matrantai. So she is not okay. He, Valmiki might have treated Kaikeyi as, uh, in natu- Kaikeyi as the best mother of Rama. No, no, because Alvars are so immersed in Bhakti. They care for Rama, they care for Pirati. They say, no, 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 she is not that, that type. Anyway, so beautiful, right? We are enjoying the literature like anything. Then she says, Dharuna, he is Dharuna, he is an evil man. So that's what it is. So instead of telling that fact, instead of relaying the story, she starts poisoning people. That's what it is. So Ramayana is a way of living. You should not do that. She should, the, the first episode we discussed here was on Dilipa is to show care about Jantu, Pasupakshi. The second episode is to show how there are people who do not care about their own caretakers. Kaikeyi was caretaking Mantara, right? She was in, indeed treated like a mother by, Mant, uh, by Kaikeyi, Mantara, or Kuni. But that lady acts oppositely, contrary. So... She is not caring for people because she wants, she is self-pity. She wants everything for herself. Whereas in Ramayana, Valmiki, it's not clear why he did this. But Alvar explains, this woman had a vengeance on Sri Rama. That's what it is. You should not underestimate people. Rama was a young boy. He might have played some tricks on Kuni. But this lady... 15 years later, keeps that vengeance and is watching for a correct time to use it. So, people are important. Shuddha bhave na jani she. He is not shuddha minded. So, you are not able to know that. Jani she te naivam mati sandita. <laughs> you are deceived. So, she is infusing poison. So we learnt that care for people, stay away from people who gossip around. Because how was Rama? He was a living embodiment of Dharma. So he was living embodiment of Dharma. He didn't care about material pleasures. So tomorrow they say, uh, tomorrow they say that you are going to be crowned. Tomorrow you are going to be crowned as the Yuvaraja of this desa, big desa. Yacharamam na pasyetu, yancharamo na pasyati, nindita sarva lokeshu, swatpa pienam vigarhate. Yacharamam na pasyetu, yancharamo na pasyati. If you are not seen by Rama, <laughs> or Rama doesn't see you, there is no point in living. This is what the people of Ayodhya used to say. Ichamohi Mahabagum Raghviram Mahabalam Gajane Gajena Mahatayantam Ramam Chatra Avrutananam. Then they say, Okay, we are going to see tomorrow. We are seeing Rama coming on the elephant. Tomorrow is going to be the prince, crowned as the prince. If you are not seeing him, this vision of Rama to be crowned, or you are not letting him to be seen by him. Yacharamam na pasyetu, yancharamo na pasyati, ninditaha sarva lokeshu. So he was a living embodiment because he practiced dharma. He took care of people. So in one instance, he might have played with uh, Kuni. And that was the reason that happened. What happened? Periyajwar, the father of Andal Pirati, cries this. Kalakya ma manatadai. Kaike ivaram venda. Malakya ma manatananai. Kalakya ma manatadai. Kaike ivaram venda. Beautiful poetic structure. Malakya, kalakya, malakya, kulak, ilak. Beautiful. Kalakya ma manatadai. Kaike ivaram venda. Malakya ma manatananai. Mannanum, mannavanum maradu. Varya again. Virtue, righteousness. So it would be a remiss for Adiyan if we are not invoke Alvar's Pasram. Of course, it is such a blessing that uh, this uh, 
episodes coordinated by Dallas Sri Vaishnavas groups is reaching far and beyond. We have been getting feedback from people who are native Gujarati talking. From Pune, uh, senior vice presidents of companies in Wisconsin and elsewhere commenting because we have made Ramayana to be a broad understanding of way of living. Okay, so... Kalakiyama manattalalai kaikesi varam venda malakiyama manattananai mannanum maradu oriya. The king did not forget his wives. His, his wives, uh, uh, wives, he granting his wife two vows, he never forgot. He could have simply said, no, no, Alvar makes a point, Peri Alvar makes this point. Mannavanum maradu oriya. Maradu oriya means he did not forget. What he owed to Kaikeyi. Kulakkumara kaduraya. Po yenne vidai kodupa kulakkumara. You are going to be the crown prince. Kulakkumara kaduraya. Po yenne vidai kodupa. Ilakkumanum tannodum. Angu angengi yadu oradayadum. This is Tamil Sundrakanta. Uh, in the words of Periyalvar, the father of Andal, Godapirati. Kalakkiyama manattalalai kaikesi varam venda. This is exactly what we have alluded to in the Valmiki Ramayana poems that dharmavadi shatobhatta slakshanavadi cha daruna shuddha bhavena jani she te naiva mati sandhita. The same thing Alvar brings in Tamil in one word kalakkiya. This lady mantara infuses poison. Kalakkiya kaikai by herself was good. But she was not having the drita mana, chinta. So she got spoiled by this kuni. Alvar puts it. Kalakkiya ma manattalalai. So do not think kaikai was bad. The time was not opportune. The time was not correct because he got, she got sold by mantara. Alvar makes it because... Who is Kaikeyi? Kaikeyi is Mata of Bharata. Bharata Alvar. Nobody can ma- match his seva. Paratantriyam Mikavar. So he is totally in surrender. There is a subtle difference between Lakshmana and Bharata. When you compare Lakshmana and Bharata, Bharata did not even have his own Swatantriyam, Paratantriyam. Whereas Lakshmana told that I am going to come with you no matter what you say. So, even though that is good, in terms of relative terms, Bharata is better. So, Alvar puts everything in the single poem to show Ramayana is way of life. Whether you take Raghuvamsa or you take the Adi Moolakavya Ramayana or Kamban or Alvar. Kalakkiyama manattalalai kaikesi varam venda malakkiyama manattananai mannavanu maradu oliya Kula Kumara Kadura Yapo Yen Vidai Godupa Ilakumanun Tanodum Mangi Yengi Yadu Radayadam. So Ramayana itself is a dharmic test. Everywhere you see, it talks about way of living, which it's so impressive to note that the Chakravarti Rajagopala Chari, who is known for his writing, if Rajaji writes, people see and write, right? Read. So he says that Ramayana is not a history. Do not take it as just a history. Do not take it as somebody's biography or do not just simply take it as a dharmic text. It's a, it's a combination of all, concoction of all. Ramayana is not a mere history, not a biography. It's part of Hindu mythology. And we, if we have to understand a society, and then he quotes about Greek uh, society. If you have to learn, know what Greek is, their life and their way of living, you got to know Apollo, you got to know Hercules, you, I think you got to know Her- Hector, I guess. All these are Odyssey, Homer's text, Odyssey of Homer and Iliad. So you got to know because that tells how those people in those ancient civilizations lived. Whether you talk about Virgil or you talk about Homer, they all depict at different levels. Anyway, depict the civilization and the characters of the civilization so does Sri Ramayana. So Ramayana itself is a way of living. So he says it is not a history, mere history, not a mere biography. It's part of Hindu mythology, Hindu dharma. If you need to know 
the dharma read ramayana read mahabharata because those texts tell how these people lived who are part of great civilization raga rama ya rama bhadraya rama chandra ya vedase raghunathaya nataya sita ya phataye namaha mangalam kosalendraya maganiya guna abdaye chakravarti tanujaya sarvabhoumaya mangalam srimate ramya ja matr munindraya mahatmane sri rangavasine bhuyate nitya srihi nitya mangalam aalvar embermanar jiyar trivadigale sharanam shubham loka samasta sukino bhavantu samasta san mangala nisantu dhasaha